What's up, RC Nightmare fans? It's Brandon here for RC Nightmare. Today we're unboxing for you the Savage X 4.6. This is a strictly limited special edition. So they're only making a thousand of these models. They're numbering each of them with their own individual plaques right on the chassis plate. So if you haven't picked one up already and you're thinking about it, make sure you get yours. There's only a thousand. I think we probably have the last one here. Probably. Um, this thing is about as ready to run as ready runs can come. They're giving you the starter battery and charger, four AA's for the remote, a rechargeable receiver pack, all the tools, spare glow plug, a glow igniter, the battery for the glow igniter, and a fuel bottle. So really, after you open this thing up, you just need some uh, fuel, 20%, 30% nitro, whatever you like to run. Let's open up and take a look. Like I said, this is strictly limited special edition with the CUDA body. So here's how she looks in the box. Very hot body in there. Pack is real nice. So here we have the fuel bottle, 4AA battery pack if you choose to run that. Tools, the glow igniter, battery for the glow igniter. In this bag we get a few extra mounts, parts and pieces. I'm looking for spare parts, a couple spare arms, extra wheel adapters. This thing obviously comes with a 2.4 gigahertz radio, so here you have it, 2.4, kind of the standard now, it's almost everything you get. Runs on four double A's. That's the, that they do give you in the box, little tiny antenna. Here we have the double A's that I just spoke of for the remote, rechargeable battery pack for the roto start. So that's an electronic starting system, so you don't have to kill your fingers pull starting. Rechargeable receiver pack if you choose to run that and the charger for it. Get her out of the box. Here is the roto start. Give you a peek at this. So the roto start is kind of like Traxxas Easy Start, except on the roto start the motor is in the starter. So you have a starter shaft here. Goes in just like so. Battery pack fits in the bottom. This is going to go into the back plate of the engine. You press the button, it turns it over for you. So it's really close to the Easy Start system in the sense that it's all electric, but on this thing, the motor is contained in the handheld unit instead of on the truck. And on this guy, you use a glow igniter that you press onto the engine, or the Traxxas one that's built into the Easy Start system. So, you know, two different ways to skin a cat, I guess. But very nice system, makes it easy to work with, a lot less painful than callousing and ripping and tearing up your fingers and all that from pull starting. Here we have the manual for it. Is this a limited edition manual? Ah, it's not. Darn, I was really hoping for that. Manual nonetheless, you got the antenna tube, all your decals in there, warranty information. Get this thing out of its protective covering. Come on. I'm excited to see which number we have here. Like I said, it's probably the last one by the time you watch this video. Sorry guys, I mean you can buy it off us if you want. Okay. So, you know, they really want to protect the body there is the idea. Well, you can't miss this paint scheme, guys. Really, really fluorescent orange, about as bright as it comes. Got the nice fake blower on there. This thing's cut, clear windows, all decaled up for you. Special edition plastered all over it. Really, really neat look. We like that a lot. Taking it off, looking at the upgrades you get on the X Savage X Special Edition. Big bore shocks. Um, I saw in the box that you get the bulletproof bevel and pinion gear for the differentials. Bevel gear is in the differential. Got a tuned pipe on here. All the anodized orange pieces. Usually you see the anodized purple from HPI. So orange, I think, is part of the special edition scheme. Um, we have special edition twin vertical plate chassis plates, of course. This has an all-steel spur gear with slipper clutch. You got twin disc brakes, as you can see right there, fiber brakes. Besides that, this is the HPI 4.6 motor. That's a .28 cubic inch motor, if you want to compare that to what you have already. Big block, you know, if you want to call it that. We have the heavy duty axles and drive shafts on this model. It's running, I'm looking at, try to look at the name of the tires here for you guys. 
just HPI racing tires. These are pretty soft, pretty soft foams on the inside too, so should handle pretty well in the off-road conditions. Two-stage springs, we got the small soft spring on top, big stiff spring on the bottom. That's to help soak up little inconsistencies without the thing bumping all over the place. Uh, Two-speed transmission. There is an optional three-speed you can get for these. You can also get an optional reverse. Um, you know, just options we might throw on for you guys to show you what it's all about. Out of the box, this thing should do about 45, maybe 50 miles an hour with the with the gearing and two-speed that they have in here. Um, there's a racing clutch bell in here. It's vented. And I think the flywheel looks to be the same as the old one. And then they do have a engine stop mechanism. So really, all this is is a brake that engages the flywheel and kills the motor for you. So you can press this in and and stop it real easily without trying to pinch a fuel line or burn yourself doing so. Air filter is a two-stage. Gas tank is, uh, I'm going to guess 150 or 175 cc. I don't see it labeled anywhere. We have adjustable upper arms on the front and rear, so you can adjust your camber settings. Steel turnbuckles, of course. Aluminum braces on the front and rear bulkhead and the bottom skid plate. Shift point adjustments, so you can adjust your second second gear shift point. I don't think I missed anything. I went through the big bore shocks. These are titanium nitrated coated shafts on the big bores and aluminum bodies. So very, very durable, long lasting shocks. The titanium nitrated coating keeps things from gouging into the shaft, keeps your, your uh, O-ring seals for the, shaft, um, for the shocks in good shape. And the aluminum bodies are real consistent, obviously extremely durable. A lot of, air, a lot of uh, space for tuning this thing. A lot of aftermarket upgrades for it. Um, the HPI, some of them HPI sells themselves, so we may or may not be going through those for you guys as we go along with this build. But we thought we want to show you this. I'm going to give you a close-up of our very special limited edition chassis plate. This is number 0606 out of 1,000. So again, if you're interested in this truck, get it while you can. They're not making many of them. All the, a lot of parts on here are unique to the special or limited edition Savage X 4.6. So we'll get you, again, some more close-ups of this, more videos as the days go on, show you how we tune it and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any comments, please post them on down below. If you like these videos, check out our website. It's rcnightmare.com. If you have anything that you want to sell, maybe you want to free up some cash for a new toy like this, or you're looking to buy some cheap used RC stuff, check out the website buyrcstuff.com. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.